Developing now at five, we have an update tonight on a story that went viral and sparked uproar across the country. The woman caught on camera attacking a black teenager at a Soho hotel just pleaded guilty. News Force Jessica Cunnington is live outside of the court with what exactly happened today. Jessica. Yeah, Rana, Mia Ponsetto pleaded guilty to a hate crime charge for falsely accusing a black teenager of taking her phone and then attacking him at the Arlo Soho Hotels. This was back in 2020. And let's show you video right now of the 23-year-old walking out of court today. She pleaded guilty to unlawful imprisonment in the second degree as a hate crime. She did not make a statement today as she walked out with her lawyer there. But what happened that day went viral. You remember the surveillance video from December 2020 that shows Ponsetto grabbing the then 14 year old Keon Harold Jr. after accusing him repeatedly of stealing her phone, then attacking him, even dragging him down to the floor. Now, under the terms of this plea, Ponsetto must abide by the terms of her California probation from another separate case and continue counseling as well. The judge also ordered her to have no further interaction with the criminal justice system. System or face prison time. Uh, Ms. Ponsetto is thankful for the thoughtfulness and the um, empathy that the DA's office showed. Um, it was an unfortunate incident on that night and hopefully it won't be repeated. She has been great, has led an exemplary life since the last, I believe, year and a half since this happened. So hopefully we can put this behind us and keep going. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg said in a statement that Ponsetto's behavior that day was outrageous and as a black man says he sympathizes with the young man and the victim in this case. He also says and believes that this plea agreement uh, will hold Ponsetto accountable. Now, no immediate response to this plea deal from Keon Harold and his family, but we do know that they have filed a racial profiling lawsuit against Ponsetto and also Arlo Hotels, saying much more could have been done in this situation. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Jessica Cunnington, News 4, New York.